Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Whatever position uh, coach puts me in, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Some of this opportunity, I mean, I know you guys obviously prefer Kobe on the basketball floor, but what does this opportunity mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means a lot of things. Uh, you know, it means I'm going to have to step up. More guys are going to have to step up. Uh, I'm going to be out there for a long time and, uh, you know, just be thrown in different positions, see how well I handle that. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me. Coleman, obviously, you're pretty diverse in your skill set and the positions that you can play, but having to play more five tomorrow night, how comfortable are you in that role right now? I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, you know, I, I think people forget that I'm 6'10", 6'11", so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm able to, you know, I have length, I'm able to block shots, I'll be able to rebound, put me in better rebounding position, actually. Uh, and I think uh, it's just going to be diff even more difficult for teams uh, to guard because, like, the, the way we can, you know, use me on offense, that's another advantage right there. So I think, you know, I'm ready for whatever, like I said, whatever position coach throws me in, I'm ready for it. Coach Underwood spoke a lot about the importance of getting active on the defensive glass. Where, well, how much of an emphasis did you put on that for you guys this week? Uh, a whole bunch. You know, they got um, you know, one of the leading rebounders in the country. Uh, they crash the glass hard and real athletic. So, you know, making sure we hit and then that leads to, you know, transition, you know, scoring in under seven seconds, getting out and running. So, yeah. You kind of had a breakout performance offensively in that last exhibition. How how much more exciting is it knowing that, you know, it's for real? From now yeah, it, it really excites me. Uh, I think that was just a little bit of what I can do right there. But I think, like, you know, season now, once I get going, you know, locked in, 15,000 here. I think it's going to be, you know, even more exciting. And I think it's going to be even a better, better performance in my opinion. Colvin, what do you what do you know about Jackson State from the um, from the scouting report? Uh, you know, uh, they're a real like athletic guards. Uh, they like to get to the rim a lot. Uh, and, you know, not the best three point shooting team. You know, they like to, like I said, it's it's kind of like do him basketball. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a big, uh, like Coach says, guard your yard game. So it's going to be a lot of. You know, if they don't have anything in their offense, you know, kind of go at you one on one. Uh, so just be prepared defensively to, you know, have to guard somebody. Everybody pretty excited to get this thing rolling. You said what? Everybody pretty excited to get it going. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is uh, what everybody's been waiting for, and we didn't have fans last year, so I know everybody's excited uh, this year because there's fans now. So. Yeah. How big is the scouting report? A guy like you, when we know you can be playing the three, the four, the five. Got more to pay attention to. Yeah, get ready for. for sure. Um, it's super important because I can be on a dude who's a dead eye shooter, or I, I can be on a dude who's a non shooter who likes to drive. So, really uh, paying attention to detail there, knowing plays, knowing my personnel, and just using that to my advantage, too. Uh, and just, yeah, like I said, using that to my advantage and preparing to guard whoever. Coleman, think back to a year ago. At this time, you're a freshman in the pandemic. College basketball. How are you? How are you personally different now? Uh, I think now, like, I'm real, like, calm with everything. Uh, you know, last year I think I was more focused on making mistakes, and now I'm kind of just, like, you know, I'm not worried about making mistakes. I'm, just, I just want to go out there and perform well and do what's best for my team. I think I was just too, a little too nervous last year, a little too in my head last year. Defensively. It was a last exhibition, didn't have Monte, only had Trent for a little bit. Just, did that show me that someone else needs to set the tone defensively if those guys aren't are not on the court? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, DeMonte and Trent are definitely huge pieces, but uh, uh, in exhibition games like that and these next couple games we don't have Kofi, uh, I think it's going to be huge for people to know, like, look, we really need you to step up. Uh, you know, we can't have uh, the same guys out there the whole time. And, uh, we're definitely going to need the freshmen to step up. And, you know, Coach really emphasizes, like, you're not going to play if you don't play defense. So having Trent and DeMonte, you know, they, you know they, they've they been here. They know how to play defense. Uh, just knowing that the coach needs you to do that, it, it, it means a lot because a lot of guys are going to come out here and step up. Maybe you could be a guy who could facilitate the offense at times. And that's like from a one to a five. Like, what's the key in being able to do all of that effectively? Um, just you know, making the defense move, and then while making the move, you know, looking for open teammates because you know, if I catch the ball, you know, drive it, strain it, different things. I think it's a, a huge advantage, especially with a five who can shoot. It's a huge advantage, just spacing everything. 
just, it's just super versatile on offense. I think it's a, a big help. A guy like you who's an NBA body, NBA game, it's a great opportunity to show perimeter defense and interior defense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think somebody like that, a great example of a rookie would be Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is. Uh, been showing that he can do a little bit of everything, and uh, he just got uh, credit from Kevin Durant, uh, just being able to guard multiple positions. Like you can't, you can't really get my bad. You can't really get taken out the game if you're able to, you know, play so many positions, guard so well, you know. So yeah. Coleman, you're, you've been known as a face-up guy, I, I guess, and do you feel like you've added enough strength where you can hold your position in the post as well? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I think so. Um, but even even at that, I think. Uh, you know, if I'm not down there, you know, trying to uh, bang down low, uh, they're, they're still going to have to guard. Somebody's still going to have to guard me on the perimeter, and that could be a slower big that I don't have to bang with, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think either way I'm prepared, yeah. Hey,